All right. Now let's explain activity two. All right. I will divide my classroom into groups of three. So student number one, student number two, student number three. All right. And I will set my um, stopwatch on two minutes. All right. Exactly two minutes. And you can use your Google stopwatch to show them the proper time. All right. So student one will answer the first question. After the two minutes, student two will answer the very same question. After two minutes, student three will answer the very same question again with his or her own ideas. Before that, you need to give them some time to produce or to brainstorm their ideas before they start speaking so that they can give different ideas and they can enrich each other's thoughts. All right? Then after these six minutes, and after you make sure that your students have already heard each other, listened each other very to each other very carefully, and they can easily um, express their students, uh, their their other mates' point of, points of view, ask them, Mohammed, what did you know about your friend? Who was her worst or best teacher? Yeah, uh, Amira said her uh, her worst teacher was called Ahmed. Uh, because he was very loud and he used to, to hit the students with a stick. Why? Uh, they weren't uh, good enough in the, in the class and he thought this is the best way to make them speak well or, or learn well. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, by this, Muhammad, um, um, I made sure that Muhammad understand, un sorry, understood his friend's answers and responses. And in the same time, he has her own and his colleagues can express theirs as well. Good, Mohammed. Thank you. Same will be done with the other questions or set of questions that you're going to put on the board or give your students um, in, a small, in small chunks of papers. 